we pick up again our series on Jesus and art by this time looking at two pictures that were presented to us by a viewer, two pictures of Jesus. And the special question that the person had was, what about the blessing that Jesus has shown? As we should look at the first picture, notice how Jesus has his hand raised and he has his thumb and two fingers upright and then the, the, the third finger and the fourth finger are bent down. The second picture is the same thing, only this is from the Eastern Church. The first picture was from the Church of the West, Europe, which can, what goes then to North America and South America. This picture, called an icon, comes from the Eastern Churches. That would be the churches of Russia, of, of Ukraine, of, of uh, the Balkan countries, of Greece. And there, this would be Jesus presented as he is as a, uh, in the, author, in the uh, whole tradition of icons. Now, what about the blessing with the two fingers uh, raised? Uh, I'm looking up trying to get an explanation of why it is. There are several. But one that seems most likely is that this gesture of the three fingers up and the two fingers down were an old gesture in Rome. And in art, they, they put forth the idea of this was someone who was speaking. So Christians, of course, were not allowed to practice their faith until 313. And then they started to use this sign that so they could talk now. They were free to talk. Of course, it gets changed as time goes on, and it gets more and more symbolism. Instead of just being a symbol that Christians now are free to profess their faith, it began to mean something else, that the three upright fingers stood for the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the two fingers bent down stood for the two natures in Jesus, that he was divine and human. It's what we do with so many symbols. We try to use symbols to help us to think about God, to relate to God, to know Jesus, to think about Jesus. And this is one that people develop, and it means something as time goes on.